so good morning everybody out here in the cow barn for morning chores only got about a heifer or two left here to melt we've got a couple new ones that are training so we're almost done with that but we've got a big day on the dairy today we actually have the concrete coming to pour the floor in the milk plant and our plant milk inspector is going to be here to see what we've done so far with the building site and uh, tell us what he thinks so it's going to be an exciting day thanks for watching guys and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and thanks for watching showed you guys this before but this is our foot bath so that's a copper sulfate bath and when the cows walk into it that copper sulfate gets in between their toes and kills any of the bacteria that's in there helps them keep the warts away and everything like that so just one more thing we do to help the cows feed This cow's going above and beyond this morning. Way to go, girl. Still going. This is what she was expected to give. This is what she's already give. That's in pounds. You gotta remember, you gotta divide by eight. So she's already given today about four gallons. She's already fed four families. It's amazing, what a cow. So guys, I finished all the cow chores, getting ready to feed my calves, and I figured I'd uh, I'd show them to you this morning. So we've got we've got six calves behind me, and then I've got seven calves right here, as you can see them here. The newest guys down to this barn are the twins. Here you go, you've got one girl right here, and then you have her twin sister right here. The lighting's pretty bad, but and they're not quite identical, but they're pretty close. But you can see it's breakfast time. Everybody's ready to eat. Waiting on my milk to mix. We'll get these calves fed and we'll be good. So I got done with my cow chores. Now I'll deal with my dog chores. I've got two little dogs. That's Cam. Yeah, hi Cam. Huh. Yeah, that's a good girl. Cam is a rescue. She's seven years old, but she's the queen of the house. And then uh, my little guy. Come here, Milo. Little Milo. He's ready for breakfast. Come here, Milo. He's also a rescue. He's only a year old. He's just a little puppy dog. But yes, my dogs do look like Holstein cows. Not ashamed. So we're back at it again. Ate some breakfast, got a little nap in. And uh, so now we're gonna finish prepping for the concrete and get ready for Chris, our milk inspector, to come out. Only problem is, is because we had to reschedule concrete because of rain yesterday, concrete's coming at 10 and Chris is also coming at 10. 
but that's okay. He'll see us pouring it, and uh, we'll just have to stop and, and show him everything, talk to him, and, and we'll go from there. But it's what happens when it rains. The plans get destroyed. So before I head out to the to the plant here, guys, I'm gonna do my morning chores out here a little bit. Getting ready to push the feed for the girls. Our cows always have feed in front of them, but by pushing it up closer to them, they don't have to work as hard to get it. And so we try to push the feed about five or six times a day, just so that it's always right where they want it. It also helps the cows get a nice flow for the robots too. But uh, here they are. So we got the feed pushed. They're happy about it. Just enjoying a breakfast munching. If you guys remember 113 from the Cow Comfort series. Hey Bits. She's a good girl. Now that I got the feed pushed, guys, I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna walk the cows. So every day I try to just walk through here, put my eyes on all the cows. See if I see anything funny, see anybody with a sore foot, anything like that. Just a better way to monitor them. That way I get a close eye, hands on view, see what everything does. Once I get done looking at them, I'll go into the computer and look at all their uh, milk results from the day before and see if their, uh, their Fitbits, for lack of a better term, have picked up anything. So yeah, our cows do kind of wear Fitbits. You can see here laying down a blue collar right around their necks. It's got a, uh, it's got basically a motion sensor in it and it tracks their activity. It tracks how much they're moving, how much they're walking around. And from that, I'm able to get a pretty good idea of how they're feeling. We can graph it and get into pretty good, uh, pretty good data that way. But I always try to walk them first, make sure my eyes see something before I go look at the computer. And if I see something in the computer, I'll come back and look at them again. But just a simple way that we can keep our cows healthy and happy just by getting eyes on them all the time. So I finished my cow walk through, been through the computer now. Everybody looks good. Just thought I'd show you guys some of the numbers here a little bit this morning. So yesterday the cows averaged 101 pounds of milk per cow. That's, that's amazing, you can see it right here. That's, uh, that's really incredible what these, what these girls are doing, they're taking you know, feed stuffs that our bodies can't digest and turning it into this product that's extremely digestible for human consumption. It's, uh, they're God's creatures. God made them to do one job and here at Demondale, they're pretty good at doing it. Well, that said, I always like to look at who the top cow was yesterday. So who made the most milk? So yesterday it was cow 343. She made 181 pounds and she milked six times. So she milked six times yesterday all on her own and made 181 pounds. You know, that was almost 12 gallons of milk on average per cow yesterday. So that's, you know, that's amazing. The, the amount of people and children and families and that these cows are providing for every day. But that's, uh, that's about it for the cow barn chores for this morning. Let's get ready to pour some concrete and talk to our plant inspector.
Well guys, the camera died before I could show you all of the mud going in. But I got a new battery and uh, we're waiting on it to dry before we can get on and try out the rest of it. But looks pretty good. Got the drains where the cooler will be. The inspector's approved. It's been a good morning. So earlier I told you guys that 343 was our top cow yesterday. Well, I come out here to check the robots and there she is. There's our girl. She got great body condition as you can see. Got a good set of legs underneath of her. All in all, just a great cow. Top cow in the herd. Feeding families like crazy. All right guys, so it's uh, a little later in the afternoon now. We got done pouring everything. We got it all trialed. And uh, it looks pretty good. We can walk on it now. So that's where I'm heading right now. I'll show it to you. And I'll actually kind of give you a little bit of a plant walk through here as we're getting ready to actually get equipment in here now so we're in the plant right now so we'll start in here this is going to get raised up guys that'll be our cooler our bottler it's going to sit right in here our old milk tank is going to come through right here stop at this wall our pasteurizer it's going to sit right over here. And then right over here in this corner is where we're going to enter and exit. There's a little drain there to wash your feet, keep your clothes so the plant stays clean. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. It's uh, The floor looks really good. The guys did a great job today. Shout out to the Denman boys. They did an excellent job with us today helping us out. You can see we've got the lines marked to cut the concrete. We'll do that tomorrow. But uh, we're getting closer, guys. We're getting there. On pace to meet our goal. And uh, we just gotta keep going. So to round out the day here, we're actually gonna lay this block wall right along the front. That'll be the last of the front wall here. We're gonna lay these block all the way across. Put our two by six wall on top of that. Something to nail it to, so let's lay some block. All right, so Joe is setting the block, as I've learned, finishing up for me. I laid this wall, half of that one, it's pretty fun, kind of sucks being bent over, but you learn, something new to add to my skills here, know exactly what I'm doing, not really, but Joe's doing a great job, making everything look pretty, but there we go, block laid, floor laid, it's a good day. Well guys, all in all it's been a good day, got the floor poured. Laid some block, learned how to do that. That was pretty cool. Watched the best of the best run trials, making that concrete real smooth. Learned how to do that. Still not very good at it, but uh, we'll get better. And so now I'm uh, pretty excited that you guys got to see how we're coming on the plant. And as always guys, thanks for watching the video. Like I said earlier, the thumbs up on YouTube would be great. We'd really appreciate it. So until next time, I'm the Robotic Dairyman, thanks for watching, and God bless.